what's it like being out here seeing all these fans who come to basically just see you? Well, you know, let me let me let me also say that we also have a lot of other celebrities here. Um, Arn Anderson is here. Sergeant Slaughter is here. Animal from the Road Warriors, you know, he's here. Um, collectively, uh, it takes everybody that's a celebrity basis to actually draw. I understand they're going to be doing close to 20,000 people for the next couple of days. That's a big draw. Uh, it's a self-satisfaction for all of us. And what I mean by that, that they come here to get an autograph picture or take a picture with one of us. And uh, they're just longtime fans. You know, I've actually been retired from the business for over 25 years, and it's remarkable how they, they still come around. How so it's, it's a great, gratifying feeling. How does that feel to know that these people are still clamoring to see you and meet you? Yeah, well, yeah it, it speaks volumes, you know. It, uh, it helps complete the circle, you know. Um, we do this on the side, make appearances around the country, and uh, it doesn't matter wherever we go, uh, north, south, east, or west, thousands of fans still remember and they keep coming back. As a young man, did you see this being... I know I didn't. <laughs> no, I, I... nothing. All I was worried about was being able to have a wrestling career and, you know, finish out strong, uh, not knowing that uh, there is life after wrestling in this, this, this shape and form, doing appearances. Um, you know, it's a it's a great sort of a semi-retirement gig, you know. It's a great retirement gig, but it's also a brotherhood. Speak yeah. Speak to me about being on the road with your former adversaries. Yeah. And now your partners. Well, uh, we don't see each other um, on a consistent level because every single type of Comic Con or Dragon Con or... Um, whether it be uh, live wrestling shows, um, draws different guys to to do the appearance. But it is good that you know some. You know I haven't seen Arn, Arn Anderson in over a year. Uh, I saw Sergeant Slaughter six months ago. So it isn't like you know. And we're all doing something every weekend, but we're all in different parts of the country. But it's a great feeling to run into them and and we sit and talk about old times. We talk talk about times that we did in matches. We talk about road stories and stuff that happened on the road. So, yeah, it's, but it's always good to see them, to see them alive. Yeah. When you, do you still watch wrestling today? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, I, I'm not going to say that I, I watch it every Monday night and every Tuesday night, but, you know, two or three Monday nights uh, or Tuesday nights out of the month, I stay tuned. Uh, a lot of times I may be doing an appearance somewhere and, and, and coming back home on a Monday. And, and there's been many times I don't get back home till after midnight, so I miss the show. But uh, every opportunity I try and watch and keep abreast and, and see what's going on. What's it like to see this industry grow based on a career you guys started? Uh, you know, the, the company is a global basis now. And um, I understand our TV goes into over 150 different countries around the world. Um, it's represented well. Uh, not knowing that 35 years ago at the very first WrestleMania that this is this is the way it's, it would turn out to be. Uh, new Vince at that time had um, big aspirations and dreams, and he, he's made everything come around. You know, we've had our ups and downs, but more ups than downs, and um, it's just enjoyable to now see that uh, uh, more opportunities for guys out there that want to do what we did. Uh, we got a huge training school in Orlando. Uh, I'll bet you there's uh, close to a, a hundred active guys training there and uh, many, many um, uh, divas that are also training there. So it looks bright for the company with all these new faces being able to uh, keep everything fresh. Yeah. Can we look forward to one day seeing a Ricky Steamboat movie? No. I mean, that, I, honestly, yeah. I, uh, I don't know if I've ever been a be asked, you know, they're, they're, they're hitting on me pretty hard about getting a book out, so maybe, you know, and I've got some stuff down, documented and, re and ready, but, um, you know, maybe after the book comes out that they might see it, it, it might be worth to have a movie, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Sir, thank yes. you for your time. Thank you. Thank no, you for having me. No, thank you. All right.